Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If it doesn't belong, don't make it fit. And for those of you who want me to spy on other people and and tell you how they feel and that I don't do that here. I mean, you're welcome to go to any other channel uh, to get that information. But I do as little spying as possible on people because they don't think that's right. I attach to your energy and I give you guidance in your life. Mostly Pisces and Scorpios. So that's that's my job. If 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 you want, like I said, that, that other kind of reading, that's fine. I I understand and you there's lots of channels to choose from. Okay? So, Ace of Pentacles is where you at right now, Pisces. Damn. Love's gonna have to wait. I do believe there's a Two of Cups here. Ooh, Virgo. Ooh. Okay. 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 See, I take this personally. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, so, Pisces. I do feel like there's somebody who wants to come in and make you part of their family. Could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo. But somebody's coming towards you. It may take a little bit of time. And you don't see this happening right now, but magic is happening beside behind the scenes. I, I feel like you're um you you just wanna hide. <laughs> you just wanna hide. Yeah. Don't come to my door. I, I just wanna I just wanna do my magic. Pisces watch the escapism during this full moon because I do feel like it will send you spiraling downwards if if you concentrate on what you can't see as opposed to what you can manifest here. Okay? And there's something coming towards you. Something you already know about. So you're you're, you're manifesting some kind of a, a union here. Right now you're concentrating on your pinnacles. So you're in the give me the cash energy. <laughs> Nah, I'll wait for love. Give me the cash. <laughs> it, it was pretty much like that. Okay. Thanks for thanks for lifting my spirits after Scorpio's reading. I'm like, oh, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. And, and, and if you have Saturn in Pisces, you gonna feel this so hard in your in your physical body. In your mental body, in your emotional body. So understand that's what this is, Pisces. I got a video up from Terrence Gardino on the community page. If you go there, you'll understand what all this restriction and energy is about. And it will help you move through it a little easier. The challenge here... Is I feel like it's seeing your worth, Pisces. That you are not just a queen of wands. That you're the whole kit and caboodle. And I do feel like this is a divine counterpart who is noticing you. If they didn't notice you before, they're noticing you now. This is a boss. This is somebody who, who takes care of their business. Alright? Could be a Scorpio. Could be an Aries. But they're coming. Pisces, they leaving shit behind. It's gonna be a shocker. Like I said, I do feel divine counterpart, but this is a father figure. Two of Wands as the most recent past. Pisces. Wow. So you chose the Scorpio way here. You chose to kill it and resurrect it. Instead of just flowing with it here. You just said, you know what? 
uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep working. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Keep showing up and going after what I want. Because I want the cash. All right. <laughs> I want to be the boss of me. So I want the cash. You know, I, I'm, I made this choice to boss up in my own life. What is in the immediate future for my Pisces? What is in the immediate future? This is a strong, strong energy, Pisces. I congratulate you because I'll tell you, most of the world has fallen to the wayside at this point in time, Pisces. And you standing in your strength and your power here and choosing that over everything else is what's going to lead you to exactly what you want. And I'm saying exactly like you made magic happen and you manifested this relationship or this, this, whatever it is, Pisces, somebody's noticing you. And if you're not with them, I feel like they're falling in love with you. This is somebody who's single. Somebody who's got other options too. But they're picking you, Pisces. Look at this. They're picking you. They're in Virgo season. Wow. That could be even spirit. That could even be, be spirit bringing you your Ten of Cups, Pisces. You're going to find this out. And that's an eight, so it could be even by the full moon, it could be by this by this full moon or the new moon in Virgo, which is around mid September. Somebody's coming forward to tell you how they feel, to tell you that they want a commitment with you. Some kind of a belief system uh, that's in play in your immediate future with the Hierophant and the Virgo energy. Something that might not be okay so how do I want to put this so you're not making it your problem Pisces whatever this person is feeling or needing to do in the immediate future I do feel like you are concentrating on working bossing up your money your life and you know, you this comes out of nowhere. This this is like out of nowhere. And this person wants to come towards you, Pisces. And I'm seeing a relationship. I'm not seeing. Uh, I can't see it any other way. The Hierophant, the, the Virgo, and the Hermit, and the Two of Cups, with the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah. Whatever this is, is coming directly at you, Pisces. And whoever they are, they're single. Or you're single. You're both single. I think, I think you guys are single. This could be a date. Somebody inviting you out on a date. And the factors affecting the situation is the full moon. What you don't see coming. You feel like you, in the love department, you just stuck, you, you know. It's, it's almost like you got yourself held up here on purpose. But a towel is about to fall, Pisces. And the love is coming in. Gemini energy, look at that. Cancer energy. It's coming to you, Pisces. Even though you ain't looking at it. I mean, you just ain't flat out looking at it. <laughs> there it is. Dope. There it is. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You win, Pisces. Whatever this is, even if it's just money, because Nine of Pentacles is being able to stand on your own financially and otherwise. So this could be, you know, even being your own boss and then finding your perfect situation in the immediate future. Wow. 
Like I said, it, it's it's heaviness, but you can choose what to focus on right now. It's up to you. And if y'all listen to me, if y'all be listening to me, you know you can manifest anything you want. Ouch. Even from a place of, like, fight or flight. I mean, there's lots of stuff coming towards you, Pisces, that you have to transmute it. People lying to you about money, betraying you, uh, you know. And, and, and you're required at this time to transmute it. So you, I think that's exactly what you're doing. You know, no matter who's fighting with you, no matter who's arguing with you, no matter what's going on on the outside, you're allowing your inside to reflect what you truly are as opposed to what other people have made you out to be. You've chosen your own path. And that's leading to a whole lot of good stuff. And you're hoping that you don't have to fight anybody for it. <laughs> Pisces want to hide. Four of Wands is the final outcome. Somebody doesn't want to let you go, Pisces. Somebody is holding on to you with everything they got. They see only you, Pisces. With the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Yeah. This person wants a commitment. They want to come in and they want to be part of your life, Pisces. You're both single right now. And this person doesn't want to be single anymore because they want to come in and be with you. I, I can't read this any other way, guys. With the way this is coming out. I wish I could. Because, you know, I've got a lot of people here that are that are married already. And and this could just be redoing the marriage. This could be doing something not wanting to fight with your spouse and and, and just concentrating on the love. Alright. It doesn't have to be anything else. What is this moon card about, Spirit? What is this moon card about? Yeah, you have no idea this is coming towards you. Like I said, the restriction is real here. Five of Cups, Two of Swords, and a Three of Wands. Death to the Old. Rebirth of the new. Death to the old. And a rebirth of the new. Alright? You're going through a serious, serious transformation right now. And another person, a, a divine counterpart, sees you and they are coming towards you, Pisces. I have no idea who this person is. Got Pisces. And, and like I said, if you got Saturn in Pisces, that's going to be a factor here because I think the other person has it too. So that means they're probably about your age. Saturn in Pisces would be people my age. So anywhere from 50 to 60 years old. This person is around your age, Pisces. There's no age difference here. Usually I would see that. But I don't see that here. I see somebody of equal or greater value as well. So, we got Sagittarius here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, and the, and the Nine of Cups. This person knows that they got competition. And maybe you think it's too much trouble and you, you choosing to be on your own with the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles 
Maybe you feel like this person is too much trouble. As the outside influence. Could be Cancer. Or Gemini. It's what you ask for. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Letting go. Being in your truth no matter what, Pisces. So, like I said. Ooh, there's the star. I feel like somebody is noticing you. And they're coming in to try to win your... To win you. Win you over. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. And there are some that are going to try to humiliate you because of this. Maybe this person is dealing with a little humiliation too. Because of the outside world. It has nothing to do with you in particular. But uh, this person's dealing with a lot of stuff too. Pisces. But I feel like this is going to happen in the next three months. When you, Just when you give up hope. When, when you say, like, I can't do this anymore. I can't wait anymore. All that. Like I said, I think you... You decided not to work things out with somebody. And that's what's bringing them back in. But don't... Don't see illusions here, Pisces. Stay firmly planted on the ground. No delusions of grandeur in this situation. Stay firmly planted on the ground. Because you magically made this happen. Virgo energy again. It's happening. Just pay attention to what's in those cups. And don't rush it. Because rushing means recklessness. Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands and the final outcome? And we'll get more information with the other deck. Four of Wands. What's that all about, Spirit? Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Tower. You won somebody's heart here, Pisces. But they're hurting. So you need to see and be compassionate about this person's pain. I know. I know, my fishes. I know my baby shocks. I know. <laughs> I know. I know how difficult this truth is. Is difficult this choice is. <laughs> you ain't give me the cash mode. You definitely are trying to stay out of the realm of feelings at this time. But it's coming anyways, Pisces, because you're you're leaving it out in the cold. So, when you break free from this energy, it's just going to come back. This person doesn't want to be left behind. They don't want to be left out in the cold. Cancer, Sagittarius energy. So, they may be contributing to your life. Because they don't want to be left out. Of your life. Could be a father figure. I don't know Pisces. Please take it as it resonates. What is this emperor. And this queen of wands. <laughs> wow. King and queen of wands. Somebody who just is. Driven as you are Pisces. Especially where your 
Um, effort is being put in in work. Whatever your whatever effort you're being you're doing right now, this person wants to come in and help you be successful. Okay. They're as driven as you are in whatever direction this king and queen of wands is going in. Okay? They're as driven, they're they're ready to go after what they want. And they coming after you, Pisces. For some kind of belief that you have about love. All right. I can't make it up. No matter how many cards I pull. <laughs> All right. Leo energy with the King of Cups. Somebody wanting to heal something. King and Queen of Cups. My God. Look at this, guys. King of Cups. <laughs> Brand new beginning. Tower. Lovers. Waiting. Queen of Cups. And the Sun. Alright. Can't even make it up, guys. Not even if I wanted to. Look. The Hermit. The Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. So... How you see this is going to mean everything about how, how it's going to work out. Because either you're going to retreat, you're going to retract yourself from it, or you're going to go after what you want. During Virgo season. Which is now. Wow. That's some potent energy there. Especially for the way that the way that this energy is making everybody feel. Like it is definitely fight or flight mode, but you're, you're restricted. Like you can't move forward quickly because of the restrictive energy that's all anybody's feeling right now. But Pisces, you're seeing the bigger picture here. You're seeing that there's much more to come. Factors affecting the situation, Cancerian energy, Six of Cups, and Justice. So whatever you've endured in the past, Pisces, this is Justice coming to bring you a new beginning. And somebody who's willing to fight for your attention or to... The awful lot being said about you, Pisces. Awful lot being, you know, you got haters. And I'm not going to sugarcoat that shit. You got haters. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're winning over the haters. Empress energy. There is the other half. And the four of wands, a foundation. So despite the competition, despite the restriction, despite everything that's going on outside of you, this is coming in. And true love wins. Whether whether it's, you know, gosh. Like I said, I can't read this any other way, guys. I'm trying to, but it's not letting me. It's not letting me. Spirit's being 110% specific with this. And Pisces, I feel like this is in the hopes and fears because you're, uh, you've dealt with too many players and too many liars. So now that's what your fear is, is that you'll fall in love with a playing liar. And if it's a Virgo, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's, that's like your biggest fear here right now. And this is the full moon energy. Again, something you don't see coming. 
star energy. Estrella, Astara energy, Aquarius energy. So, Pisces, hold on to your hats, lovers. Because look, Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Star. This thing you don't see coming is coming. And Pisces, you could you're scared to death. You're scared to death that you're gonna have to fight through lies and players and bullshit. And I can't blame you, Pisces. Especially till Venus goes direct. Don't build castles in the sky with this person. Especially right now. Wait. Give it a couple of weeks and see if you still feel the same. Couple of weeks. Don't confuse your your loyalty. Make sure that you know where you you begin and another one ends. Because I do feel like there's a contract that's about to be signed that's going to bring you freedom, Pisces. Some kind of freedom from restrictions. And that'll be a welcomed energy uh, during this full moon. Because, it, like I said, it's very restrictive. It's very devil-like. It's very confining. And I feel like you just want to hide. Hermit energy, you know, in the immediate future. You just want to hide from love. You just want to hide from any emotions. Because you don't want to feel them, Pisces. You're not going to have a choice. That's what all these towers are about. You're not going to have a choice but to feel it. And you may retreat. You may go into your hidey hill. So we got a gift here. An official person. A main male. This could be somebody who sees you struggling, Pisces. Financially struggling. Or they're financially struggling. Somebody's financially struggling here. They're ready to come in and make some kind of offer. Some kind of gift they want to give you. I have a main male and a mature male here, so there may be a choice of two with the lovers. Somebody is of an age difference and the other one is not. Somebody wants to make you officially part of their family. Two, 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 one. Two, 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 one, one. And I feel like this person doesn't feel like they have enough to give you. One, seven, one. So, like I said, one feels like they're too poor and the other one wants to give you a job. But both are a gift in their own way. So, what you choose to do with that, like I said, it, it could be your baby daddy that's broke and can't afford child support. That could be as simple as that doesn't have to be but then there's somebody else that wants to come in and help you I don't know who's who you have to figure that out <laughs> my, my baby my baby uh, uh, my grandbaby my grandbaby boy Axel <laughs> that's his name <laughs> Axel Axel Rose um, my daughter sends me pictures because his hair is getting longer. She gave him a little palm tree, a little man bun. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So this is the challenge. 
through this full moon. Somebody has codependent obsession issues here. All right. That could be one of these two people. That could be you, Pisces. Okay. Whoever this is, you will know it by the way it behaves. And that's, like I said, this could be you. This could be them. I do feel like you're dealing with somebody who's having those kind of issues right now. It could be the mature person who's broke because they have a serious addiction, a block, or a restraint, and maybe they think you're going to fix it, Pisces. <sighs> Unconditional love. Like I said, feel the compassion here. Even if you don't want to be with that person and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you know, be in that energy still be compassionate uh, towards the energy because what you resist persists and, and you can't keep anything you're not willing to give away and I I seen that in an immediate manifestation this morning okay walking the walk to the store, walk back. Somebody asked me for something and I didn't give it to them. And because I didn't give it to them, I lost it. Instant manifestation of karma. Okay? So, be very compassionate during the six planet retrograde here. And manifest in a way that is through your higher self and not through your selfish self. <laughs> if that makes sense. Because like I said, even as simple as that little thing that I didn't do caused me to lose what I had. So, and, and I'm not, you know. So, this person is definitely missing you, Pisces. They're thinking about you. They're unsure of the future and you guys are mirroring each other's wounds. Mirroring each other's wounds to each other. This person is going to come in, Pisces, and express express some kind of love. Letting you know that they're thinking of you. They want to rebuild something, sabotage something, rebuild something. This could be you rerouting yourself in a business as well. Because we got the Queen of Wands here twice. We got the Emperor Empress here. So this could be your business and you're rerouting yourself in another way. And right now, you're either experiencing a lot of, you know, um, abundance or a lack of abundance because you're rehashing everything you're changing everything you're moving it around this is the time to do it pisces because when venus and mercury go direct next or this month you know uh it's gonna it's gonna go whoosh really fast but somebody has an addiction that they have to deal with some kind of addiction and it could be an addiction to money or a way of life. It doesn't have to be an addiction like a, like a substance. I feel like somebody else might be dealing with that around you, though. And, and you're going to have to see it for what it is, Pisces. This is a reflection of, of you and this other person and your wounds. So stop touching the wound. Start feeling compassion about for yourself and for other people and what they're going through and experiencing just as much as you are because that's what's going to pay off come mid-September all right don't let yourself be all in, in a situation that takes you down to that five of cups depression emptiness Five of Wands, feeling like you got to fight your way through it. Five of Swords, speaking, you know, about your love life and how it's betrayed you and lied to you and played you. And, you know, this is, 
this is your biggest fear of whatever the situation is. Your biggest fear is that seven of swords and that knight of wands. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I really don't. I mean, I, I deal with the same shit, so I get it. And you got a whole bunch of cards that just jumped out here. And Spirit's telling me to take it, damn it. So, I guess I'm taking it. A whole bunch of cards. Solitude. Trapped in fear. Spiritual strength. Come out your hidey hole, Pisces. You don't... I don't wanna. I don't wanna. But your intuition is telling you something different. Rejoice in celebration and destiny is here. Triumphant success and prosperity begins. Wow. Wow. What a what a message, Pisces. Wow. All right. So we're going to get you some advice from three different decks here. This is a long reading. And I hope it doesn't stop. Like the last one did. Apologize for that, guys, but I didn't know. I didn't, nobody even told me until I was 4,600 views later. Okay, so we got past life, present power. As the soul grows in service to the great feminine and her intention, that all beings be healed and free. Aww. It gathers internal resources to assist us on our path. These resources include powers and gifts. From other lifetimes, you are currently integrating past life abilities. Be open to what is taking place as your soul awakens ancient power and the abilities in you. Proper burial for freedom. There is nothing to be gained and everything to be lost by trying to hold on to that which no longer serves you. Osiris, Lord of the Dead, guides you to release that which no longer needs to be part of your life so that you may be free. And like I said, this is this is almost like a complete, total restructuring, resurrection, going to your hidey hole, rethinking things, <laughs> trying to work it out, and, then you're, and rejoicing in your destiny because you listen to your in intuition. You listen to your intuition here, Pisces. No matter what came your way, no matter what you had to fight through no matter what you had to deal with you listen to your intuition and all the gains are coming from that you went within you didn't look outside you for the answers and that was the right choice the mist trust your inner compass Be led from within. Let it rain. Allowing what is inevitability and trust. So your trust in spirit, even through the mist and through what you can't see, is what's guiding you to your perfect destiny and, and the intuition that you need to see. So you can rest and rejuvenate after conflict and defeat. And Pisces, I don't say this easily. That, that, that this is this is was an easy, an easy thing to do. We got the map maker of destiny on the bottom, so I'm gonna read. The, ooh. So, selflessness, humility, conscious action in reverse, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual in reverse. So, this may even just be addicted to a negative pattern of not feeling like you're enough. Not, not. This might be just an addiction or a block of your own negative patterns because it's telling you to let that shit go. Like I said, this is this is going to be a challenge for everybody, but especially you, Pisces, because of 
who you are in the scheme of things during this transition. Okay, so this scheme is a challenger. It says, when the High Lord of Gratitude and Service comes to challenge you, he signals a time. And that was money I lost, by the way. For, for deep self-inventory. It was only a couple bucks, but, you know. I could have given it away, and it, it would have made more sense to me than losing it. Just saying. For a deep self-inventory, ask yourself... If your desires are driving you to become more self-serving. My nose is just itching. Get out of my energy. Stop it. Um, have you forgotten to help others? Are you so focused on arriving at your goal or destination that you've become isolated from the ones who care for you? Do your ambitions relate to making yourself special apart from others or better than they are? Have you become competitive, envious, or driven? I think that's everybody else around you, but, you know, could be you, Pisces. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service challenges you to accept a gentle gift in the form of perception of wealth and ambition. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's an ancient saying scrawled on an old stone wall. True ambition is not what you believe it to be. No focus on winning a jeweled prize. No amount of pomp or circumstances will achieve true prosperity. True ambition is the deep desire to usefully, to live usefully and walk through humbly under the grace of the divine in service to all. You can also apply this to relationships. The impulse to have your own way or control how things will will. B serves only to push you away from the one you love. It creates an energy block that repels your desired outcome so that it's far out of reach. Let go and let the divine lead you to the highest outcome. In a tiny still moment of surrender, miracles are born. When you shift your perception in alignment with the High Lord, success indeed will be yours. All right. Oh, so that, that makes sense. Trying to control shit, Pisces. You know, you know we can't. I mean, even 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 though we try really hard sometimes, we are control freaks. That ain't no lie. All right, so challenger. It says, is, are you degrading yourself in any way or lessening the importance of your impact in the world? Have you allowed someone to dishonor you? Have you failed to stand up for your beliefs in order to get something you want? The immediate future, guys. The altar priestess warned you that continuing on this path could bring you trouble, as you may be align aligning yourself with lower ideals as your companions. So basically, don't follow the crowd. Another message she brings you is this. Never sell yourself short when it comes to your intuition. You're always led to the highest ground when you follow your inner guidance. So that is pretty cut and dry reading there. I mean, it says an important responsibility is brought to you when the altar priestess comes as your challenger. You're being required to be a spiritual warrior and to have courage. Be ready, respect yourself, and believe in your purpose. As you are being chosen to be the embodiment of the sacred in the world. In essence, you're challenged to be the best you that you can be out there. You can do it, and spirit is counting on you. The map maker of destiny. We're going to read that one, too, because I think that with the destiny card coming out, that, that it's relevant to this reading. Okay. So this is an ally and a challenger. Authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. This is when the map maker of destiny appears. It's a sign that you're being given an opportunity to transform fate into destiny. At birth, each human being is given a unique map, map with myriad paths that intersect one another. Your map of destiny shows all the places you're meant to visit. 
places where you'll be challenged to evolve into the highest aspects of the self. Remember that you're the spark of the divine come to earth to experience itself in human form. As such, your path is unique. It's also somewhat preordained. And fate represents the events in your life that were meant to happen and that you can't change. Fate is transformed into destiny according to how you respond to your circumstances. And destiny offers you the ability to make great opportunities out of fated experience. So free will and choice are possible at certain points on your map. Now is one of those times. You're faced with a relationship or circumstance brought to you by fate. How you respond will lead into your perfect destiny. Your ally may assume the form of a soulmate come to heal your heart and be your companion. Perhaps your challenger makes you face things within you that must change in order for you to express your highest good. Maybe fate brings you an ally in the form of a wonderful new project, or the challenger in the form of a failed business. No matter which form they take, they are all perfect expressions of fate, inviting you into your destiny. Pay attention as your map unfolds now, and remember that fate makes the map, but destiny is determined by the manner in which you engage your journey. Wow, what a reading. All right, Pisces. Uh, my baby sharks, you got your hands full. So good luck, and I love you, and I hope everything works out for the better. Get your rest. You're going to need it. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye for now.